Hey students, Mr. Fisher here. Did you know that in the New Jersey stock market game, you have $100,000 to invest? You can buy stocks, bonds, funds, all kinds of stuff. And when you buy them, it's based on the real prices out in the real world. And as those prices change, you could grow your value, or if they go down, you might lose value. It's pretty fun. It's very exciting to see your portfolio and, and see how it does. So in this video, I just want to show you how to use Yahoo Finance to look at stocks so you can judge them and decide if you want to buy them. And then I'll show you how to go to the stock market game, log in, and make trades. Now just so you know, it's uh, September 15th, and the game that we're about to start doesn't actually start for two weeks. So when I go to enter the trades, it won't actually go through. It'll tell me, like, the game hasn't started yet, but this video will help you see how simple it is and give you just a feel for how you can use Yahoo Finance. There's other websites you can try out. I like this one. It tends to be good, except they have started putting a lot of ads. So there's other places to look at stocks, too. I'm at Yahoo Finance. I'm going to type in Apple. Now, you can see that there was a lot of um, matches there. So I'm just going to carefully click on Apple Incorporated. And that's who makes iPhones and all kinds of great stuff. So that's an ad at the top. And this is called a stock quote. It's telling me a lot of information. And if you're in personal finance or maybe um, another class, it might be a lot more than you need. But those of us that are taking the investing course, we really are going to dig in and use a lot of this to help predict if this is going to go up in value or not. So just really quickly, here's the name of the company. This is called the symbol, the stock symbol or the stock ticker. That's what you need for the game. So when you go to buy Apple, you don't type in Apple. You actually want the stock ticker. This is the current price. When you buy a share, you're actually becoming partial owner of the company. And um, to buy one share of ownership of the Apple Corporation, you can see the price is changing in front of my face right now or on the screen. Um, $117.29. I just went up a penny, another penny. Um, these numbers are telling me that just today it went, it's up since the market opened. Market's open at 9.30. They close at 4. The price has gone up $1.95. And sometimes that's confusing. So we use percents. It's up 1.7% today. So, if I wanted to buy Apple, I'd be paying this much. The game will actually take the price at the end of the day. So if you look at this chart that I'm mousing over, you can see this morning it started out at $117.99. It fell in price, and now at $12.30 it's kind of back up a little. The rest of the day it goes up and down. So when you buy it in class, or if you place an order at home, you're going to pay the price at the closing of the market, which is going to be 4 p.m. It'll still be pretty close to whatever you saw in class. This little chart is really helpful. So even if you're just starting this, if I click on one year, you can see that in the last year, Apple was as low as $56 a share, and now it's way up here. So as an investor, I'm trying to, de to decide, is this going to continue to go up in value? Should I buy it today? Or do I think it's overpriced and it's going to fall? And in that case, I shouldn't buy it. Yahoo thinks it's overvalued. That's what this is down here. No big deal. Um, you can still buy it. It doesn't mean they're right, especially because the game is only for three months. So if you think Apple's going to keep going up for three months, you should definitely buy it. There's a lot more here that I'm not showing you. But if you ever have questions, come see me. I'm Mr. Fisher. I'm in room 204. Or if you're really into it, take uh, the investing course next semester, and we can go way deep into all this stuff. I'm going to show you another company real quick, and then we'll go buy a stock. So I typed in AM. It's going to spell out Amazon, but here it is. I'll click on it. So Amazon is much more expensive per share. It's $3,000 a share, a little more than that. And you can see today it actually has gone up. 30 set $40. And these are changing because the market is open. People, millions of people are buying and selling the shares. And the price isn't set. If demand is high and people want it, they're going to have to pay more. And if people don't want it, the price falls. It's what we call supply and demand. You don't need to know any of that. Um, just know here's the price. And here's the stock ticker. This is what we need for the game to go buy it. 
and the game will, will look it up for you too. So one day you can see just like Apple, it went up and then it went down and it looks like it might come back up. It might go down, it might go up. That's why this is so interesting for trying to predict the future. I can see in the last month it went way up to 3,500 and then it's way down here again. If I go to six months, it's really strong for six months. It's really up. Um, this is since January 1st. If I go one year, that's going back in time an entire year. You can see it's really gone up a lot in value in the last year. You could have bought the same exact share of ownership for 1,700 that you'd be buying today for 3,000. But maybe you think it's going to keep going up. And in that case, it'd be good to buy for the game. So what I'll do is copy. Um, actually, I need to go log into the game. So the game website is stockmarketgame.org. And you'll be given a login name and a password by your teacher, whether it's me or Ms. Alfieri or Mr. Johnson. And then you'll just log in. Close that. Okay, so this is what we call the portfolio. The game hasn't started. You can see it doesn't start till 10-5. And then it'll keep going until middle of um, December. And during that time, you can buy and sell stocks, bonds, index funds, all kinds of stuff you'll learn about. So this portfolio has $100,000 in cash. So as I buy investments, you can see there's a lot of different things here. The cash will go down depending on how much you spend, but you'll see this part go up. And then over time, you'll start to see um, how you're ranked, how much you're making and losing. There'll be all kinds of cool charts and stuff down here. Here's how you enter a trade. So let's say the game is on and you want to enter a trade. I'll just go right here, enter a trade. You can do a lot of different types of trades and you can learn more about that in class. I'll click stock trade, buy. And if you didn't know the ticker, now I already know it, it's A-M-Z-N, but you could search if you had typed Amazon in there and hit search. It would help you figure out what you were looking at. Okay? So Amazon, as far as the order type, just leave it at market. That means whatever it's going for at the end of the day today, that's how much you're willing to pay. And the game makes you buy at least 10 shares. So if I put a 1 in here, it's going to reject it. If I put a 9, it's going to reject it. If I put 20 in, it'll let me do it. If I put 100, that's way more than you have to spend, and it won't go through. So just do 10 shares. And then you'll hit preview the trade. Oh, got to hit buy, market, 10 shares, preview. Now you can see I got a pop-up that says the game hasn't started yet. If the game was already started, it would just go to the next screen and it would say confirm trade. You put your password in again just to confirm that you want to buy it. And you hit um, buy. And that's it. Now the game is based on real life, but it updates overnight. So if I bought this stock today and I went right back to my portfolio summary, it's not going to be there yet. But when I check it tomorrow, it updates overnight and you'll see all of the changes. When you're entering trades and you put one in and you want to see if it's there or not, you go to this, pending orders. And under pending orders, you'll see a list here of what you bought at what time and it'll all be there. And then the pending orders get um, put through overnight. So you, if you bought five stocks today, they would be sitting here. And as they're confirmed, they will disappear. And then the next day, it'll all show up in this portfolio. Another cool thing um, while I'm doing this is when you are looking at the portfolio, so let's say you've been buying and selling for a few days or a few weeks or a month or whatever. Um, it's fun to go look at your account holdings, which you can see that this is 100% cash. I have 100,000 in cash. But once you're buying and selling, there'll be little slices of different things that are stocks or bonds or index funds, mutual funds. The game really keeps track, just like if you were you doing it in real life. It's really interesting. Um, it'll also tell you you can look at top holdings. 
it'll show you like of all the people playing the stock market game, what um, what stocks are kids holding the most of? So it can kind of help you um, make some choices. This is a lot. Just come visit me in room 204. I'm Mr. Fisher, and um, I look forward to playing the game. I'll be playing too. So um, let's make the most of it. And I promise if you take it seriously, it's really interesting and you will learn a lot. So I hope this helps. Have a great day. Aloha.